Jaya, ha! This is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex, especially for men, how to master your sexual energy, how to master your interactions with women. And uh, one question that came up is uh, how to master your sexual insecurities. This is like within the range of what we call sexual shadows. You know, there are places where you arrive and you start touching on something that feels unsafe to you, that feels like you are stretching yourself, that you're challenging yourself by engaging there. And one of them, for instance, can be performance anxiety. You know, you are meeting this woman that you really like, you don't want to fuck it up, you don't want to mess it up, and you want to be really at your peak. Then you arrive in her, that space and you realize that you are not performing at your best. And so those are what we call the sexual shadows. And the insecurities around sex, you know, have to do with you feeling energetically, emotionally, or sexually vulnerable. Because maybe you had experiences in the past where you got rejected and, uh, you know, pushed away or laughed at or something like that, you know. And so you might have issues with thinking that your penis is too small or that you don't know how to perform or you don't know how to hold space for a woman, that you get really intimidated when you see a really beautiful woman that you're attracted to. And so all these insecurities, the idea is very simple. It is that as you build up sexual power and sexual confidence, you will see that the insecurities are being pushed aside. They're being pushed away out of your system because you have more and more fire, more and more confidence, more and more positive experiences with women. And then suddenly you realize, wow, great, you know, I'm a sex god. I can say it. I'm a sex master. And master doesn't mean that you mastered everything, that you are perfect. It means that you are within the range of 80 to 100 percent optimization of your sexual energy. Again, you know, the interaction that you have with specific women, this is not where you measure how good you are at sex. Where you measure how good you are at sex is how comfortable are you with your sexual energy? How well is it flowing in your system? This is the vital sex idea. It is the idea that sexual energy is inside of you. And so as you keep on expanding that field of energy in your system, you will see that the insecurities just disappear. They dissolve out of the field and you gain a sense of tremendous power and confidence. So what gives you confidence is, is this. It's practice. Okay, lots of practice. It's like if you have to play the keyboard in a concert for hundreds of people and you haven't been playing for two months, how is this going to make you feel? You are going to be exposed and, and feel like technically you, you're not making the right moves. So when it comes to sex and tantric sex, it's a little bit the same thing. It is that the more you practice and the more you are into this field of sexual power, sexual energy, sexual mastery, vital sex and all that, the, the, bet, the better you are going to perform. And the better you perform, the better, you know, the more, the more confidence you will have in, um, in practicing and engaging into tantric sex. So here is the thing, it is that women, they really want you to be masterful at that. So they will, they will you know, sometimes challenge you. They will put you in front of certain areas where you go like, wow, I've got some deep wounding there. Maybe there is something I have to check in. And uh, precisely, you know, like for instance, within the tantric sex practices and the vital sex activation that we do, it's all about, you know, creating space and releasing the possible tension that you might have around, um, yeah, around your sexual energy and your sexual power. So this is the answer to you. You know, the insecurities, it's okay to have them in the field and you will notice that the more you practice and the more you engage, the stronger you become at it. It's a little bit like going to the fitness or to uh, do a run. You know, if you run every day after a while, you become really good at running. And it's the same with sex. And this is going to give you uh, more and more confidence. And um, yeah, just something to, to tell you here that is important is that when I say lots of sex, it doesn't mean like going around and sleeping with tons of different women, okay? You can be exclusive with one partner and dive really deep with that person. Very often those are the peak experiences that you're going to have. So don't be confused with the idea of having lots of sex. It doesn't mean necessarily going and having lots of partners. You can do that if you want. But in my experience, diving deep with one partner or maybe a couple, but you know, with one partner very often is going to be the way to go for lots of people, for lots of lovers. So I'll tell you more about that in another video. But for now, yeah, practice sexual confidence. I'll see you soon for another video.